earlier this year, I saw a Facebook post from a mutual friend of mine and Jay Ann's. And I should say, I'd never met Jay Ann or heard of you at that point. And he said, Liz, this is you all over. Something about it spoke to me and something about it made me say yes without hesitation. And that's how it started. my best, best evening of the, I've, I've ever experienced. It was wonderful. Not only did I do um, a solo, I actually opened the show, which is something I would never, ever think I would be brave enough to do, but with the encouragement of, of Liz and also the love of all the other girls that were uh, singing as well, you could actually feel the support and they were. <laughs> I was really nervous. I was really nervous. Um, I've sang in choirs a long time ago before, but I've never sang a solo. So yeah, it was nervous, but actually the experience was amazing. Um, the support from the other women was incredible. And it's been one of the best things I've ever done. did tell them that I sang really badly at a karaoke and, um, and that's when I was asked if I'd like to join the choir. So I said, why not? What's the worst that can happen? I can't sing anyway. But I got so much from it emotionally. The connections are just lifetime for me. You know, the ladies, we've all made ourselves vulnerable and that's something I never expected. On the night I had a solo, um, it was the Aretha Franklin song, Say a Little Prayer. Um, I really, really enjoyed it on the night, um, but I was the last to put my hands up, I think, for a solo. Um, so I was completely out of my comfort zone. But they found a part that was low enough for my voice, and yeah, I think, I think it went all right. If you're thinking about joining, you're going to have a ball. We all started off very nervous, but at the end, we put on a fantastic show, and more importantly, we've got lifelong friends. So having fun with friends and singing, which is something I enjoy, but I'm not particularly good at, um, I've loved, and knowing that we are raising money for local charities, particularly mental health charities, given the last few years that we've all experienced, has just been the icing on the cake. post from the lovely Jay Ann which said do you sing in the shower or the bath and I thought no but I sing in the kitchen and the car um, and I think my comment was I'm in 
I think the impact um, of, of the choir of Shower to Stage has been phenomenal. I don't think any of us ever really thought that it would explode like it has. Um, not just for the people involved, but for the people outside of the choir who are going to be helped by the money that was raised because I think we were surprised at how much was raised and the ongoing impact that that, that will now have and helping other people to do exactly what we've done and um, be up on that stage maybe for the first time ever in their lives and maybe they never ever thought they would do something like this but the impact will be far-reaching. <laughs> Shower to Stage going um, further with supporting people with mental health, that has just given me a complete boost of feeling proud to be in something that is going to be going further. Um, with the mental health side of things, because I have reached out in the NHS services and things like that and not had the support just because of numbers that I feel this is going to be something really, really beneficial and we're going to get to the, we want to get to the people before it becomes a big problem. So nip it in the bud before it becomes a massive problem. So what I would say to anyone joining the choir, the women's choir or the men's, that just, just do it. You, would, you will love it, you will make friends. It is really uplifting and beneficial um, for just mental health. And I, well, I just, I just love it. And we've made brilliant friends from it. The reason why I didn't want to um, sing a solo on the night was that I put too much pressure on myself. So I changed my mind. Shut my mum. <laughs> Who's recently? <sighs> recently been diagnosed with cancer. And on the night my mum couldn't attend. <sighs> because there was too much of a risk to catch any germs and she was just about to start her chemotherapy the week after. Um, and I know my mum would have been... <laughs> she would have killed me <laughs> if I didn't do the solo. <laughs> so, um, bless Liz, <laughs> I... Um, I pressed Ganga into com convincing her to let me to do a solo and I almost kind of took charge of which bit of the solo I wanted to do as well. Um, and the next day I told my mum that I did it for her. And she was really pleased um, and really proud. So I'm glad I didn't find the courage to do it in the end. So anybody who wants to join next year and you're too frightened to, um, like me, just choose somebody that you want to do it for um, find some courage because on the um, actual night um, you'll find that the people who have gone through an amazing journey with yourselves will be there to support you and have your back um, and actually with them um, the actual, on the night and having the photos taken the um, proudness just captured within that moment will stay with you um, and kind of bolster you for the um, journey ahead as well. So an idea that came from nowhere, really quick idea, that I put out on social media has turned into this mammoth, incredible 
fascinating, curious journey. And uh, Liz and I, you know, we thought this is just going to be it. We'll do this, we'll do the event, it'll be amazing. But we turned to each other at one point and said, this is not it, there's more to this than just this event. Being part of the choir was a bit of a surprise. I found myself in a room full of amazing women that I didn't know and uh, looking to the awesome Liz um, that I'd been watching from afar for some time. And now I'm in a room with her and uh, I love singing. I've loved singing all my life. And uh, whether people think I can sing or not, I, I love it. it. It's not about whether I can, it's, it's that I love it. Um, and so singing with the other women, learning the songs and actually finding out that I have to be quite controlled. I can't just go for it. Um, Liz is very good at uh, keeping me calm and recognising that you can do this, Jay, but you just need to do your bit. Um, and that, as part of this, um, was quite tricky for me, but I've loved every single bit of it. Um, it's been amazing. <laughs> heard about the shout stage going on but um, Liz Ashton called Shane about doing some bits for it and asked me if I would join so I said yes. <laughs> it was a great group of people made some really lovely friendships and personally um, self-confidence in doing something like that it's not something I'd normally do. I was really nervous and scared for the whole of the performance <laughs> in doing it but felt really good once I'd done it. Just do it. It's a great experience. You don't need to be able to sing because Liz will teach you everything you need to know. I'm really pleased to be part of this great charity. Uh, much needed resources in Cornwall and things are being missed. And we all know people with mental health difficulties. So it's great to be part of it. could have prepared me for the journey that I went on personally with all the other women. I thought I would be slightly apart, teacher, student, which I'm very used to doing, uh, and it wasn't like that at all. And the vulnerability that all the women showed with each other, I couldn't not be affected by it. And I think it would be true to say that almost every woman that you speak to has an issue somewhere in the past, has maybe had a brush with mental health or one of their close family members or loved ones has and that's true for me as anyone else and I found that the power of singing together in a group because I sang along with the, with the ladies all the way through and the power of doing that was so enormous that it brought up things for me that I hadn't personally dealt with in decades and so I felt every bit as emotional, fragile, empowered and uplifted as everybody else in that choir. Could never have anticipated that and I'll be forever grateful for my involvement.
One of the things that this has really shown me and something that I've been speaking about for a long time and living my life in many different ways is your voice. Your voice is so ridiculously powerful where, where you use it, how you use it, your internal voice and your external voice and singing with Liz and singing with the women has really shown me the power of using your voice through singing for your own physical, for your own mind. But the room, the evening, the people listening, really, really, gosh, it was so uplifting. And one of the key things about this is not just changing lives, but saving lives. And hearing voices when they're just speaking, they're just reaching out. And if we can create an opportunity to really hear those voices right at the beginning, and as they get louder, somebody else hears that voice, we can make a big difference. And there's so many amazing therapists and coaches and support in Cornwall that really want to help people and change their lives. I'm really excited to be part on this journey with Liz so that we can create that container and help those people be heard.